Hello and welcome to our latest Photoshop tutorial. This time we're going to be concentrating on background extraction. We're going to be working with this image here and we're going to try and extract the background leaving the two subjects here and then we're going to superimpose them onto a studio background like so. Now it's uh, quite easy to take away the background using the selection tools, combination of the eraser and the magic wand, but often we end up with uh, results looking something like this, with quite uh, jagged edges, and especially when we zoom in, especially around the, uh, the areas of, of hair. So today we're going to show you a slightly more effective way of removing the background uh, and that is using the built-in extract tool. So if we just revert to our original image here, the first thing that we need to do uh, as normal as usual is to take a copy of our image and uh, I'm not going to take the whole image, I'm just going to take a, a head and shoulders uh, of the two people here. So uh, the first thing we do is we go into the extract menu which is found under filter. Now this is the extract window. What we have to do here is to draw a line around the image that we want to keep and then we fill it and the area that's filled is the area that is kept and Photoshop automatically deletes the background. Now the line that we draw around uh, with this highlighter tool is the area of transition between the area that's kept and the area that is erased. The idea is to get this line as, uh, as thin as possible but it should cover uh, both the subject and the background. I'll just show you here right along the edge of the subject. Now the idea is to follow the subject all the way around. Now there's a button here, there's a selection here which is called Smart Highlighting. When this is selected uh, and we use the highlighter tool it will automatically detect the edges and it will automatically choose its own brush size. There we go, it seems to be making a slightly better job of selecting the edge than I did. This is fine for straight edges. When it comes to areas such as the hair then you might end up having to do it manually. So for the time being I'll use the automatic tool here and then later I'll go and touch it up. Just take it all the way around. There we have it. Now I'll just zoom in here. So now on these parts where the uh, there is more area of transition, then I'll take my pen and I'll unclick the smart highlighting, and I'll just highlight all of the areas that need doing. Now, as I said before, the idea is not to get the brush size too large. And you might want to vary the brush size a little bit. I'll take it down a, a couple of points here now. Do these bits here. What I have to do now is to fill this image to tell Photoshop what parts of the image I'm keeping. So I'll fill inside the circle I've made. Now this blue area is the area that is kept and uh, the unselected area here is the area that will be deleted with the green line being the area of transition between the background and the foreground. So let's go over and preview this. The preview I can actually make it on uh, uh, I can choose the color of the background here. I can have it on black, grey or white or any color that I choose. I think I'll highlight this on grey because uh, 
the boy's got dark colours on and the uh, the the woman's got white colours so a grey background would probably be the best here and I'll press the preview button and there we go let's just zoom in on this to have a look how it's come out okay there are a few artifacts here which I can clean up okay the hairs come out quite nicely yeah that's uh, that's actually come out quite well right there are a couple of tools we can use to clean up this image over here there's the clean up tool and the edge touch up tool the clean up tool uh, works like an eraser we'll just zoom in here select the clean up tool now I'm going to change the background color here because we can't actually see the tool on the grey background I'm going to put a white background on this is just for preview purposes select the cleanup tool and you can see it just gets rid of all these little bits now you can use this tool in conjunction with the other one which is the edge enhancement tool the edge touch up tool here I go along and it just sharpens up the edges which is uh, quite useful being as the other tool seems to uh, make them a little bit blurred so I'll just go around my image now touching up the pieces the bits that need to be um, cleaned up so that's uh, most of the image cleaned up there so once we're happy with uh, the preview we just press OK and then the background gets removed completely so what we want to do now is we want to slot in a, a studio background and here's uh, I've got here the one that we prepared in the background tutorial this one here now to bring this into our, ima into our image I'll click the move tool then simply click into the image drag and drop now to size it up I'll first of all make the image smaller so we can see what we're dealing with and then still with the move tool selected it uh, gets magnetically slotted into one corner there and I'll click this show bounding box button here now this will give me some handles on the side which I can resize it until it's just the right size I'll unclick this uh, I'll, first of all I'll press enter to accept the resizing and then I'll unclick the show bounding box and if we now go into our layers palette I'll move this background just below our extracted image and so we have the two here now there's a slight size difference here as you can see we'll do some cropping on this um, there we go, something like that and there's our finished uh, finished image and as you can see the, the hairline has actually been quite a quite a success there okay well that's the end of this tutorial in the next tutorial we'll be taking a look at some slightly more advanced techniques to enable us to blend our extracted image in with the background a lot better okay thank you for watching and until the next time